Okay, we've got so Kalista, Filos, Renata, Talia, Amumu, Rookie's back! Okay, now our bands will tell us where this Talia's going. Nocturne, Talia's going jungle. Talia jungle's biggest counter is uh, Nocturne. It's so f annoying, this matchup. Yone Ben. They're scared of AD mids. Why would they ban Poppy if you're playing Talia already? Now they can... Wait, what? No, they shouldn't pick Gwen. They should last pick top. Is, v is, is Gwen even good for V5 if they're playing Amumu, Talia, Gwen, Lee Sin? Yeah, so it's, maybe they think the Talia is going in mid and they want to take away the Lee Sin because of the Poppy ban. But the Nocturne ban makes it so it... Maybe it is Talia mid. Yeah, it looks like it is Talia mid. Okay, so maybe they're just scared of playing against Nocturne with Talia mid anyway. I mean, Nocturne just counters Talia. The champ is so fucking frustrating to play against this Talia. If it is Talia mid, then they can play Gwen if they play a good AD jungler. Yeah, so now what's your AD jungler? It can't be Talia jungle now. It has to be Talia mid. Rek'Sai! Oh my god, I don't think Rek'Sai is very good into Renata. It's quite hard. They have bailout, they have the, the pushback, they have uh, the ult. Again, still kind of expected to lead a now it's Gwen top, just last pick top. What is it? KL, GP. Rek'Sai is good into Lee. Yeah, of course it is. Rek'Sai is always good into Lee in 1v1, but the game is not 1v1. The game is not 1v1. Rek'Sai is an old school classic counter to Lee Sin, though, yeah. Yeah, I think GP was fine for rare item. I don't know how the lane goes, GP versus Gwen. I feel like that lane is just complete psycho lane. Whichever jungle comes top wins, but. GP is really good into Talia Kalista. I feel like GP was a bit better, but maybe they don't think so. They know that their red buffs are watered now, so I think one of them should base for Sweeper. It's too late, though. Unless they already have Sweeper. They should know their red's watered, though. They all started pinging it the second they saw them. Yeah, level 1 all in bot is pretty good because you have double stun on Amumu, so I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to fish for something here now that the wave is settled a bit. The Rex hided red Raptors Grump. He has fast play top here if he wants. Could invade Lee Sin's blue, but it's uh, red, but it's a bit risky. He has good mid push though. I think Rek'Sai invading here is really good. Just walking in and seeing what's up with this mid push. Looks like he's not gonna do it though. I think was yeah, he is gonna do it. It's fantastic. Okay. Nice. He should just E over. Nice. Yeah, he's gonna E over Nash bit and go ward his red. Nice. Perfect. He sees it. Yeah, and Shalom Bow. Ah, oh, smart. Skirting around Vision Lee and now spotting flash. him out. And Why didn't he flash? I think they could have flashed there and Shalom killed him. Bow uses rookie as well. A bit all he has to do is flash knock and Talia can W or flash W. He backs all the way around his jungle. And as he continues to take uh, Leon is wasting a lot of time here. Lian Unless he can spot this out and uh, he can't feel this. Right about now. <laughs> yeah, is able to see it in the end. Lian gonna try and Maybe he can steal this. Time for Strive to I feel like XLB wins, just hit him. What is he doing? Oh, what? Why did he... He gave up so much position. He was scared of tanking the red. Wow, Lian actually got this. That's ridiculous. He got that. Wow. D5 have double pushing solo lanes. That should not happen. Uh, they don't have damage. It was quite clear, I think, they didn't have damage on the flash. Bone plating saved him, I guess, as well. Oh, he could die, no? No, he doesn't. As rookie now Holy rookie, just completely embarrassed him. Where's his team at? Where's rookie's team? It was a nice try here by Strive. I think he needs to f E, flash, and then chain first, and then ult afterwards. But then this rookie E here means even if Lee Sin hits Q, he can't go in. Because he'll tank tower and be stunned, so... Yeah, there's nothing to do here. If Rek'Sai was 6, obviously this guy was dead, but he's not. I think they win. They're really fine. The thing is, this Lee Sin is really fucked. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. The Lee Sin is so fucked, actually. I'm just thinking about... Oh, nice CC there by Rookie. No flash. Wow, Rookie, you're insane. Yeah, Lee Sin, now that I think about it, into Rek'Sai is annoying because of the knockup. Rookie might have been gone for almost five But also Talia E, like, like, like it's also fucking annoying. Like, at least in this game is so frustrating. Gwen immune. Sorry, I was just helping with the sound effects there a bit. 
Rich is just going for it. And you're right, Rookie coming in. A bit of flavor is now. Oh, Rookie, 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 Rookie. The confidence out of this man continues as oh, he's so one good. kill going down. Oh, his so return, good. absolutely massive. Rookie is everywhere, man. He's made so many plays for them this game. Five. I mean, V5 own the map right now. They just need to get this bot tier one. But it's very easy to get this bot tier one. Rookie pushes out top, moves mid. Kalista pushes mid, moves bot. And they have a stack wave, tower dies. It's really simple. It's so easy to get tier ones. But they don't even need a stack wave. They could probably just get it right now, actually. No, they can't. They're going to get mid push. Alright. They should just go towards Drake. I think this play here is a bit risky. When they're bot lanes in base. Nice by RA to keep it somewhat close but this game is still solidly and firmly in favor of v5 especially with Rook you can also a lot of people think you need to do this uh, into this into this uh, but what you can do is take rookie can push top into tier two in a month. Not a and then he can base a, and a run bot I don't know how you play that works too especially if drake's up it's really good and then your top laner can base and tp top or catch this also works quite, quite well. I don't know how quick PP God dies if he goes in. Oh, he's trying to split them. He's funneling them into a choke. Oh, I think Amumu... Oh, I didn't have flash. Where was Kale then? There it is. Oh, if they had a bot wave here, great, but they couldn't have had a bot wave. With Rookie, it's all the same. Right now, looking like the best team in the LPL by far. Yeah, V5 yeah, looking insane. V5 just I hope V5 go to Worlds. LPL has four spots, right? I think it's probably going to be RNG, and it's just no surprise, right? I feel EDG, like of rookie, like V5, that he's had is just and well Top Esports. Whether it was on IG, covering for the shy up in top lane, making those roams, or even just you can say JDG, but like I think they're gonna choke. Shun, which looked kind of I feel like they always they always just fall now, short in playoffs. I feel like that's gonna happen. Looks like it's gonna be committed to. Rookie and Rich EDG will put it together and make it. I think. Don't know if will be able to find a way into the pit. I don't think Weibo's gonna make it. I don't think LNG's gonna make it. I don't think JDG's gonna make it. Rookie's return, man. That's the only story that we need to talk about as he flashes over, looks for Cube. A close call as the threat of volley won't connect. He doesn't care as Lo Yen is getting snipped to death by Rich. Cube does not do enough damage. Breaks up, they have a free again. soul. They don't have to dive. Yu Yanjia just... Wants a hostile takeover, which what? Hits nobody. what does Yu Yanjia just do? And now. This team at 25 minutes want to keep it clean. The sweep as well once again flies through. Ivoy and Lo Yen on the wrong side of it. And Strive is now isolated. There's the first death as Cube ulti so early. And Rich alongside with Botix. Holy. PP God, CC God. Next on the menu, boys. As Botix. Nidalee. Holy fuck. Nidalee Kalista. Jesus. Win in five min, lose in five min. Renekton Fiora Ben. They have two options here. Blinding mid or picking Gwen. Uh, just depends on they ban here, I guess. Is, was very combo, uh, Why did they ban Silas? Yeah, they want Lissandra? The like they want Lissandra TF? Top but top Lissandra Nidalee? Oh, that sounds horrible. S uh, set now in mid lane oh yeah, TF. Oh yeah, TF. They're going to play TF on 3. On 4. TF Nidalee, yeah. Lissandra is really good into Nidalee. You know what would be the most LPL thing ever? If they pick TF Nar. They should just last pick GP. But if they do TF Nar, I'm mind blown. Oh, GP's banned. How is Desandra good into Nidalee? Because you're just chained CC'd. You can never jump in. Desandra presses one button and you can't play. 2v2 mid jungle. This guy is... This guy is one shot. I guess he needs his... Um, I mean, oh yeah, GP's banned. I think GP is really good into Kalista. Right, Kale, yeah, they're playing NAR. NAR TF. NAR TF. Isn't, isn't Rare Atom's comp just super useless? If you can do something without flashing in? Flashing in? Yeah, what does she do though? Yes! What do they, what is, what do, they do? Like, they just hit a stun card and literally throws a spear and... It is really bad into Sandra. What about Jaeger or Sin Zhao? At least they can't, they also can't jump. Yeah, but Sin Zhao has some peel, you know? Like, he can ult, he will build a little bit tanky. Um... Viego is also a little bit squishy, but he can also build, like, he can also build, like, tankish items. The only one Nidalee can kind of build is Zonyas. I mean, if she goes Zonyas Banshees or Banshee Zonyas, 
just a rookie like you're, the champ is just useless right like literally just as a champ if you're building defensive items you have to go conqueror and then conqueror and Italy with defensive items is just useless Lissandra just wins like Lissandra wins every jungle mid 2v2 it's so broken isn't, isn't it so fucking OP this champ like you just it's like do you want Orn or Lissandra both of them do the same thing they just win it like even Lissandra doesn't have like hard losing lanes I mean, the, the hard losing lane she has is like Victor, Cassio, Oriana, I think, are the hard lanes for Lissandra, but they, these champs just suck, I guess. Oh, that's pretty smart. Is it rookie with W? Oh, he missed. Is Lily gonna do. Oh, he's doing red into blue into Grom. Oh, it's watered, though. Uh, I remember this path on. Does he get blue even? He has to just flip and get the blue, otherwise, I mean, he's gonna die. Or? No, he's fine. Oh, nice timing by Leon there. He timed it knowing he's going to smite. So this clear that Leon did was really good in the um, Lee Sin Olaf matchup. Season 9, I think it was, or season 10. Oh, kill him. Actually, nice. Oh, Leon is smurfing. Oh, he's a bit deep now, though. But Fotix level, level one. No, especially if you look this is going to be Canyon Nidalee flashbacks. Over to make sure can look for the uh, and yeah, in the Lee Sin Olaf meta, Olaf would always clear faster to top than Lee Sin would. By miles, maybe even two camps faster on a, on a solo start. So a good path on Lee Sin was just get a leash bot, do red, ward jump, have your support ward here over the dragon pit. Use his ward to ward jump over. Invade his grump and steal it. Push him out. And then have your ward jump when he flashes the wall. It's a really like small thing, but Chinese Nidley and Korean Nidley very different to EU Nidley. It's like Jace in a way, because I remember I used to play with a top laner in pro play. And he once told me, I can't play Jace because we're not five Koreans. If we're five Koreans, we can play Jace. But if we're not five Koreans, we can't play Jace. I'll never forget that. Boy's not out in time. TP coming down as Loy Yen is now here to squeeze them out, but Rookie's in fog of war. Strive wants a gold card, but Rookie has a glacial path to get over the wall. They're walking into certain death. Flash is over. Rookie keeps him in place. Holy Rookie, does I feel like have Q? I don't know if he used it. Regret. He gets a spear back, which is great, but Yu Yan Jia just joined in the party. Loy Yen nice has to get away Rookie. from the frozen. I don't know, I feel like... But he will if you make one mistake on Nidalee, well, you're useless. As the but if you play really smart and really, really well over your lanes, you can fuck the enemy jungler incredibly hard. But if you do nothing, like if you do the middle, where you don't make mistakes, but you don't do those plays, then you're just like, you're also useless. You're just farming Nidalee. Doesn't really do anything, you know? Farming Karthus is much more useful, for example. Lilia is even more useful than Nidalee if they're just full clearing on cooldown. Nice Merc Reds. Wow, they get both. Oh my god, they got out as well. Wow, that's ridiculous. It's over. Look, let's go, man. All I can say is Yo, sir, thank you. Greetings, uh, Cathedral. But also, Nidalee needs setup, right? That's why they picked TF and Mumu, because Nidalee needs some setup in the lanes. If you're playing like Azir, Nidalee, yeah, Filios, Renata, like this Nidalee can't play. The game is just lost. But the way Rookie moves to side lanes is so insane. He's very smart at knowing when to commit and when not to commit. He always leans to sides pretty well. And he seems to always make the right choices to when to, when to commit. He just has really good game sense, I think. Oh, I think 100%. I think the longer is... I'm gonna and in level 1 invade, you know, when they're all running through here, and they're in the bush here, Rookie is the one calling so to come here. You could see it, because he was first to move and he had W stat. The Rookie hasn't shown on this midway for 20 seconds now. They don't know where Rookie is. He's been sitting on this pink right here for the last 20 seconds. They haven't seen him. I think maybe TF saw him here a second ago. I didn't really see the bush vision. 
Yeah, he always just goes like, lane point just real quick about yeah, yeah. Why you like level six he always just walks towards like the middle of the, towards the towards river on both the sides or the or middle of parts of jungle just to check things. I don't know. Guys, a nosy ass motherfucker. I mean, it's really good right, to get to steal a lot of information. You, you have gap closers, you have lockdown, and I feel like the second uh, you say in comms, like Rich or, or Fotex says bot or though. top is diveable, it is, but his brain God, just uh, only focuses on the dive. He doesn't care about his wave. They want to capitalize on all the aggression coming out in top lane. Oh, this really up lane could be good. Doesn't have mana though. Does he have presence in mind? No, he doesn't. Oh, oh, Rich. Oh. Flash W here, maybe. No, he has cleanse on TF. Smart that Rookie knows that he has cleanse, cleanse on TF. Does he just Q to the creeps in E? Yeah, he does. Now he hits a creep, maybe? No, he doesn't. Oh, Dick's just... Oh, nice flash by iBoy. My God, beautiful flash. I think he would have won anyway. Oh, Leon's dead. Nidalee is out of the game now, officially. She lost her red and she died. Yeah, this Nidalee is never in the game now. Back. He's already. <laughs> what is he building? It. Oh, I boy. You yeah. don't have summoners up anymore, my dude. Oh, maybe they get the kill. Yeah, he's dead. I mean, V5 is just so good. When will they rebrand to Nip next year? Apparently, that's what Twitch chat said. So what happened here? Leanne's trying to do Drake. Does Rookie TP in somewhere? No, it's not 14 minutes yet. Oh, he TP's a bot tower. Yeah, it's not 14 minutes at this point in the game. Nice ult by Cube. Leon is trying to get out. Does he flash over? Yeah, he does. Holy. Dead a few years. Absolute monster, Chad. LPL AD carries. They like to go forwards. Like, that one was a little bit easy, you know. There wasn't much threat. But on Aphelios especially, these motherfuckers will gale force into four people with their ult. And just Probably pray to fucking god they kill two they before they die. Hope does it. Does Doggo does it. Gala does it. Hostile takeover. The response decent, but for RA, they need a kill. But rookies, he goes into the glacial prison and Shallow Bell heals on up. Still B5 had the angle with Phileos Bobic at. now coming in red hot with an ulti and a blast cone that betrays Strive. Holy Keep movement. God, you cheeky devil. With the double P in the bottom lane, Fotic now shining up as the ulti comes through. Oh, nice top watch. I think he knows Q. Oh my god, Fotic is so insane. This guy is a monster. And now top got dove 1v1. I don't know, dude. V5 is exciting. I can't wait to watch V5 versus um, EDG. Is, um, is XLB... I haven't watched much of their games, but Dream was smurfing. Is XLB doing well? This, yeah, Hysteric just said he looks as good as Karsa. I don't know who this guy is. Who even is this guy, XLB? He just came out of nowhere and from their academy and replaced Karsa? Oh, he was on RNG. And it ending off on rookies, yep. you know, re-debut back into the LPL. V5 stomping is a great way to go into the one-day break. And then we yeah, he's been on Young Miracles and RNG. Up. So he's been playing about V5 two years. Play against EDG. We'll have a real showdown of some top teams. V5 we'll EDG. That's going to be a crazy game. But I'll be there in spirit. I'm casting that, am I? Yeah. Oh my god, I am too. With oh, accurate. strive. Yeah, Rich is 1v2. Uh, remember the Placidium for a moment. Okay, as well. Fifth kill comes in. I'm looking forward to it, Lyric, because this looks way too easy. PP God sending out a high boy and Curse the Sad Mummy comes through, but Yu Yan Jar right now relying on his AD Fates call to get him out because I boy is dead again. This is going from bad to worse. And Lyric, I need to start talking about our quickest game of the split because V5 are ramping this up so fast that our The Sandra is so fucking broken. Banger. That came through before. Well, they have 17 kills. Rookie was part of all of them until like seven or eight minutes, but then I don't know what the fuck is going on. Both side lanes are just going crazy. Are gonna back off in the end and not strive once the angle. This is gonna be the Hail Mary, but B5 just go forward onto Cube as a three man. Oh, the Mumu, but Yu Yan Jar's gonna die down. Rookie locks down the AD carry and victory five. Lyric, I asked you before, are they gonna beat their record right now in the base? So what's happened in this top dive? I mean, they're so far ahead. They can just murder them under tower. Yeah, it's not even close. Nice ult by um, Yuanjia, though. XLB kills the tower. Iboy can't hit. Lissandra presses one button. Kalista dies. LPL teams aren't prioritizing GP that highly. In LCK, it's a lot higher prior, I feel like. I don't know the numbers from what I've seen. 
did, they should oh yeah, GP was banned though. Yeah, of course it was. That one. Doesn't look like yeah, maybe it's maybe that's what it is. I never really looked at the first three bands of LPL because when the game starts in draft, the bands are already all, basically all done. Like even half the pick phase is done by the time the draft starts. I don't really pay attention to it. Maybe it's just banned a lot. That's why I not picked as much. Maybe it's just banned every game. Oh, Photic. Taken on the army, bailed out, but will he respawn? Not in the nick of time. Victory five, searching for the last two kills to demoralize rare oh, rookie Adam. HP. Rare acrobats, we called them, but they're nowhere near the <laughs> pole vault at this point. Okay. Rookie's gonna die. How did Rookie die? Was it a spear? Return. A trap? A creep? Split. B5, anyway, Rookie is back, and Rookie is looking and insane. Rookie returns. He doesn't care about Everyone lane face. He cares team. about side lanes. Gets an MVP vote from me. Nice, Rookie. Is he gonna do what the shy does? Yeah, he is. Doesn't even click next. Just leaves it on the victory screen. Doesn't look at stats. Look at them. Look at the stat farmers. You know. Look, his is still on the victory screen. Does not care about your disgusting stats. Doesn't care about your kill participation. He wins the game, and when he wins the game, he leaves. And when he leaves, his job here is done. Now he's gonna go chill out.